Time now for the NTV Sports Desk. I'm Darren Wimberg here from the Smith Complex in Hastings, Nebraska for day one of state softball. 24 teams, three different classes, all looking for that one, a championship title. Let's start with Class C, top seed at St. Cecilia taking on the eight seed, Gothenburg. But it's the Swedes that gets on the board first as Hannah Devlin takes the 1-0 pitch deep to left center field for the solo home run to make it a 1-0 lead early. Top of two now, Gothenburg strikes again. One on, one out for Tay Herrick, who smacks this one hopper to the fence, scores in the runner from second as the Swedes are clicking early. But here come the Hawkettes. Tatum Krikak goes shopping at the gap, slides into second for the RBI double to cut the lead in half. Next up, it's Brooke Bulky who lines a single to left that drives in Krikak, and we're all knotted up at two after two. And it would stay that way for the next three innings as both starting pitchers were dealing Devlin with the swing and the miss to end the inning. And not to be outdone, Aubrey Rossi fielding her position to check out the one to three double play as the Hawkettes use that momentum to put up a five spot in the sixth, go on to win the opener seven to three over Gothenburg, move on to face Bishop Newman. Over to the other side of the bracket where the two seed Central City Put it on the seventh seed Freeman early and often. Check out the arm by catcher Kaylee Bosch as she nails the runner at third for the second out of the inning. And then Jersey Schindler then says, let's end this one. And she's throwing smoke by the batter to end the inning. Now it's all about the offense as Bosch not only does it behind the plate, she does it at the dish. Singles here. Next up, Burbach. On Carly Seitz. Drives in another run to make it 14 to 3 as a bison would end this one in three innings with a 15 to 3 win. It feels wonderful. Um, that's exactly how we wanted to start off. I'm so proud of the girls, and um, you know, they just they just attacked early and it was it's great. You know, the message is let's have fun. We're here. I'm so proud of them. They came and they did what they needed to do in this game, and let's get ready for the next one. Let's move on to Class B, where the two-seed Northwest was taking on seven-seed Scott's Bluff. But it's the Bearcats striking first as Michaela Henry loops this into center field to score two more runs as they would take a 5-0 lead. Bottom half of the inning, though, Northwest has been raking all season, and they would continue to do it as Becca Dinkelman, she's a freshman, crushes this ball 